Hey everybody, welcome back to Classics Are Better. My name is Travis and today we're talking old trucks and cab bushings. So if you're looking for your classic truck to ride a little bit better, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to get these things switched out. Let's get after it. Okay, so I do wanna point out I am doing this on a 1966 Chevy C10, which will definitely cover 1960 to 66 Chevy and GMCs. But y'all, this is pretty applicable to any old truck. They all work about the same way. Now, you might be thinking, Trav, how do I know I need new cab bushings? Let me tell you. So with your old truck, if your bed and your cab are sitting at different levels or it's off, especially if it's off just a little bit, like, you know, half inch or less, it's probably your bushings because when they start to go, they just shrink on you and they get dried and cracked out. Thus, put your body lines off. It can cause vibrations when you're driving around. Um, you can feel more body roll as you take turns and they kind of give way and let the cab rock a little bit. So we are going to add polyurethane bushings. You can also use rubber like they had from the factory, but polyurethane adds a little bit more advantage as it's just a little bit more robust, a little bit more um, resilient, I guess, to the elements and to performance applications if you're really putting it on there. But Rubber ones will work just fine. They've been working for 50 years. They just don't last as long. Whichever ones you feel comfortable with, go for it. But in this one, we're using the polys. Here's our wonderful jumble of parts. Let's see if we can get this cleaned up a little bit. Here's our bushing kit all laid out and ready to go. I will show you guys a little bit later how to remove the front and the rear bushings from your truck. Um, but right now I just kind of wanted to show you how the new pieces will stack up in there and that way you can kind of visualize it instead of trying to explain while we're laying under the truck. So once you get your old bushings out, you will start with your large bushing here for the front with the ridge on it and it will also have the extruded um, cylinder on the bottom. Put that on top of your body perch. Then between the bushing and the body cab, you're going to put one of your large washers. Now below that, so the body perch will be right here, you're going to use one of your medium bushings. And then you're going to get a crush sleeve. So what a crush sleeve is, is it bottoms out between the two washers and that way you can't crush uh, your rubber or your poly, whichever you go with. There is two different types in the kit. The shorter one is for the front, the taller one is for the rear. They're a little bit different diameter, but the easiest way to tell again is shorter for the front, taller for the rear. So now when you're underneath the truck, you will take your crush sleeve, slide it right in through the bottom, get one of your medium washers, think they're two and a half inch, put it right underneath here. So this is what it will look like underneath with the mount right there in between. Then you will take your beefier bolt. What I mean by that, it's a little bit bigger diameter it is a little bit shorter than the rear bolt, but it's definitely a lot beefier, so you'll be able to tell. On the front, it slides down through the floor in the cab, and I'll show you guys that bolt location a little bit later. And then you will take one of the nylon lock nuts that's supplied with the kit and just zip it on down. You don't need Loctite with one of these, so again, you just zip it on and you'll be good to go. All right, so next we're gonna do the rear bushings. They are almost the same, just a little bit different at the end, y'all. So once you get the old bushing out, you will start with one of these medium bushings, flat side up. You take one of your large washers and that will go on top of this and go have the cab on top of that. Now, once you get below the uh, body mount, you will use one of these triangular uh, style bushings. So you'll be sitting under there just like this. Now, we'll get that taller crush sleeve that I mentioned before, and you will slide that on in from the bottom, and then cap that off with one of these small washers. Now, the back differs in that instead of coming through the cab and going down, in the rear, you go from the bottom and go up through the bottom of the cab. Inside these cab stock, they come with a cage nut, which is a little square nut that is welded literally inside a little metal cage in the back behind your gas tank. If yours has broken off in the last 50 years, the kit does come with a big nylon nut. 
So you can put this on there, zip it down, and you will be good to go. All right, y'all, now that we have the front and the rear ready to go, let's get these things on the truck. Okay, so step one is gonna be spraying the old bolts and nuts with some sort of penetrating oil, WD-40, PB blaster, whatever you prefer. Another thing you're gonna wanna consider before you start breaking all the bolts loose, y'all, is that the front of the truck is connected to the cab. So if you start jacking up the cab, even when you loosen all the bolts and you still have the front attached real tight, it's gonna start binding up on you and can mess up some of your jams or cause some damage, stuff like that. The best thing to do when you start doing this is to loosen all your cab bolts. And then up here, obviously I have the front of my truck off, but with your radiator support on, right here in the front on each side, you're gonna wanna just loosen those. So you don't have to take it all the way out and be a huge pain, but loosen it up so that it has a little bit of room to wiggle. Okay, so for reference, y'all, right here is the bolt for the front passenger side, and it's gonna be in about the same location over on the driver's side under the carpet. So this was pretty rusted. I'm glad I'm changing these out. The next step is getting the old bushing out so we can get the new one in. Right now it's being held on by the weight of the cab itself. So what we're gonna do is get your floor jack and a couple two by fours, and you are gonna put them right here on this cab brace. Just, you know, have the two by four right there against it and just jack it up ever so slightly. And then you will just pop that old bushing right out of there now pay attention, on top of this one, there's a washer and a little shim. So little shims and stuff like that that might not be in your kit, keep track of that kind of stuff. And you might have to put it back in just to get everything dialed in correctly. So here's just another visual for y'all. Here's the old one pulled out with both washers time welded on. You can see how just nasty and cracked and blown up it is. And here's the new one. It is actually still a little bit bigger than this old one, even without any washers on it. So that really lets you see how over time your cab can sag down just because your bushings are crapping out on you. All right, so now that the front bushings are replaced, it's time to focus on the rear ones. All right, y'all, so it's just that easy to get the old cab bushings changed out in your classic truck, especially in early 60s C10. If this helped you out or you got some value from it, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for a guy. Totally helps me out with the YouTubes. But other than that, y'all, use your brain, be smart, get out there, get wrenching. Until the next time, have a good one.